even got a little got a little bit of a fired up group between the orange and the white and we unveil the dj ui ungalale be on this uh, sophomore dj ui ungalale from inland empire california the guy that was the number one recruit, number one quarterback coming out of high school, got his baptism last year when Trevor Lawrence was out due to the COVID protocols against Notre Dame and Boston College. Fared incredibly well, so you can see why they're so excited about this. Uh, who was a freshman, now sophomore. That's in Gata on the back end of the throw. The line of scrimmage. Sometimes the running back's got to make them right to make it our first view of uh, Will Shipley. All right, fake it to Shipley and throw it here on the perimeter. That's a season ago. Just a little quick throw out to the flat. Looks like it may have been an RPO. I did a year ago. Dabo Sweeney and this coaching staff told us that they feel like they can come out of the spring with 10 or 11 guys they can play. Play fake to Shipley. And a big strong throw to Ngata on the backside on the first and 15 ball. And a quick throw to the perimeter. Uli Ungalale in the stretch by Bo Collins for the touchdown. Two Collins twins who are obviously not related that Clemson has. Dakari Collins and Bo Collins. This time Bo on an experienced corner. Sheridan Jones just a quick out. And Louis Ungalale with pace in the backfield. Second and nine here for the Orange on offense. And cuts it loose to the far side. A bit of short yardage, third and three. You're looking quick outside. There it is. And hey guys, throw. when you have a tight end that's six, seven, two hundred and eight, that's normally what you do after you convert. We like to take don't it take, over. Don't take a little shot right here. Looks like we got a little balance. Porter's looking to see what happens here. They're going one safety. He's going to probably let it go. That's a sack. See, so guys, and this is the interesting part. Holding number 77. That's what you call. Uh, Wait, now Mitchell made. Seems Lemansky Hall did not want the sack. It is second and 15 here. Louis Ungalale just misses and got in. Now third and long, guys. And that will be a sack. Clock, you can only see it exclusively on ACC Network and on the ESPN app. And our congratulations to Roy Williams on a remarkable, remarkable coaching journey. You know, genuine person. I mean, he's he's a, he's he's a, one of the good guys out there. Uh, loves the kids. Is passionate about the game. And one of those one of those coaches that when I, early on for me. But we've already seen some of the talent with Bo Collins. And Dakari Collins as well. I mean, it is it is a group that there should be a lot of excitement about. And that will be a sack for Tyler Venable. John Bosco. The loss of eight. And on the interior, there's the out of uh, Riverdale High School. And quick flashback to St. John Bosco, Roddy. You had these two guys. You had a good chance, I think. I, I would say so. How about the pipeline coming from Southern California to Clemson? You get Uwe on the Lille, he convinces Bo Collins to come as well, and, and that dynamic duo goes from East Coast, excuse me, from West Coast to East Coast. Yeah. Excited to see what they do in the ACC. Third and nine here for the Orange. See, there's a winding clock in this uh, second quarter of the Orange and White game presented by Geico. Pretty good looking throw, but overthrows the intended receiver. Got bills or something. Got commercials no, no. or something going on. <laughs> we, hey, we were running his highlight reel is what we were doing, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> he said he, he said he thought he was. That's right. right. He Come has on. all the power. That's why I'm standing yeah, right you here. You can do whatever you want to do. <laughs> you blow the whistle, get Andrew Booth, and interview him on the PA system, for heaven's sakes. Two-minute situation. Just game management, you, you know, what? understand understand the clock, understand his timeouts, you know, oh, we got to be able to get that ball out no. of bounds right there. Clock. There's one right at the stick to lay. 
He's not calling him, so yeah. he's saving all three as he uh, approaches midfield. There's another throw and a big catch. Is that inbounds for him? You got Sweeney in the slot here, bottom of the screen. And DJ, DJ Uwe Ungalale in the final minute here. Boy, shoots it to Lay. Tough catch. Call it. Check out Jalen Lay on the outside. They go and got it inside, Lay outside. And he lays out. Uh, not Third down and seven here out of the timeout by the Orange. Trying to maybe get a marker on the board before the half. Pressure coming and overthrown, looking for Lay again. Uwe Ungalale started Roddy, out four to go for back four to on point. the touchdown to Collins, by the way. Excuse me, Eric. And he's now 14 of 19 no, after the inco 14 of 19 after the incomplete pass. We try to go recruit good players. That's what we try to do. And uh, but he's a, he's another great one. There's no doubt about it. And super excited about his development this spring and what what, what we know we got to go do this summer. And and uh, for him to have a chance to be the first you know full full time starter for himself. And you saw it last year and what he did uh, in those two games. I mean, he really displayed his abilities as a true freshman. He had a great example. You know, and the cool thing about DJ, he came here to back up Trevor for a year. You know, that's because he really wanted to watch. He wanted to learn. That's how much respect he had for Trevor. And and then he wanted to be a part of our program. And he's just a great representative of everything we want to be about here. And, you know, the, the talent is special. But, man, he's just a he's, a he's another great, humble young man that's, that's all about the right things and got the ability to – make plays with his legs and his arm <laughs> on any given snap so excited about him and tyson's made some great strides too and you know when it's all said and done and we get those other couple guys in here this summer i think we'll have a good quarterback room come august and look like where has he had to increase his game preparation just being that starter well i, I think i think the i think the biggest thing uh for him is, is just he's a little bit of a gunslinger mentality which you like uh, but but just staying disciplined within the system, and that'll just come from from playing, especially getting you know game reps uh, in game situations. You know he, he uh, we're gonna like the result. Coach, he said something to us in our visit with him the other day that that I found interesting, just from from hearing a young guy talk. In that he really really talked about leadership value and and his accountability uh, for him to set the tone for everyone else and how he goes about things. And yeah, maybe he doesn't like uh, certain aspects, whether it be maybe his nutrition or, or whatever. Uh, but man, he, he's, he's buying into everything and really leading uh, these guys and, and just growing into that, that you know, complete player, complete man, and equipping himself on and off the field with the tools he needs to, to be excellent in everything he does. So really, really excited about his development to this point. Here's second and go, Roddy. I oh, want you to get shovel, that point in. Shovel option. Oh, he missed him. He had him. Uh, go ahead, Roddy. These next four months and having a chance to really go train like he wants to. But he's had a he's had he's had a really really good uh, really really good spring. Wow. That's what that's a heck of a win. That's a heck that's a lot better than a steak or a hot dog. Yeah, that's a, that's a big time prize. And there is uh, Uwe Ungalale. All seriousness, six straight now, but to think in 2015 when you put that first one up on the board, that, that's one of those strong kind of things that I, I think a lot of people, you, you don't want. You know, opportunities for, uh, you know, in the postseason to do great things. So that's where it starts and just really proud of our guys and how they've handled themselves, all these teams. You know, we, we didn't guys do that as you start from scratch every single year. It's never about what we did a year ago, what this team did a year ago. Talk to us about how you can spread that mentality through your team, through your coaches, and keep that going each and every year. In a situation that you can't draw up any better in practice, 158, three timeouts, down by one, go get us in field goal range. That's exactly what right. you want. I've goes to work here. This is good class work, as they say. See what we get in the first throw at Jalen Bounds. Got three timeouts here and BT well, Guys, Potter, don't forget, this is a kicker. running clock. So there is no out of bounds, sacks. The oh. clock is still going to run. So this out of the timeout. Though, is... Yeah, it is. Oh, 
That's guys, that's what you can't have. The edge. Boy, look at the two at the top on the left in that front, Roddy. And a throw by Uyunglele, oh. and it is intended for Ngata, and he almost hauled it in. Play. Well, Ngata does everything right except for finish the catch. And that will be the final play of the game. So the white team gets to... Take a little vacation on the workout, Eric McLean.